This is a demonstration video looking at some of the characteristics of titanium metal along with some of the properties of titanium based compounds. The materials we're going to be looking at is commercial purity titanium metal, titanium dioxide which is white, titanium nitride which is gold in color and titanium hydride which is metallic in color. So to start with we're going to be looking at titanium metal one of the crude tests to determine if you've got a piece of titanium metal is to run the titanium metal on a grinding wheel. If you have a piece of titanium metal, running on a grinding wheel will generate bright white sparks as the material oxidizes in air. Titanium metal can be machined, as shown here. However, caution is advised so as not to put too much heat input into any of the swarf that is generated as potentially this can catch on fire. We'll look at a metal fire involving titanium swarf shortly. Titanium metal is commonly known for its excellent resistance to corrosion and its high strength to weight ratio. With these great properties, titanium has a wide range of applications, a lot of them in aerospace. However, titanium metal is rarely used by itself. It is typically alloyed with aluminium and vanadium to increase its strength and improve its resistance to high temperature oxidation. So in the next demonstration we're going to look at titanium dioxide and we're going to have a go at making some titanium dioxide by oxidizing some of the swarf that we generated from our earlier machining operation on our titanium metal. So to start the reaction we're going to heat the titanium using a gas torch once you heat titanium metal up beyond around 800 degrees Celsius, the titanium will actually dissolve its own oxide from the surface into the bulk of the metal. And as a result of this, a fresh oxide is formed. So what we basically have is a metal fire. In this process, we're also going to generate a little bit of titanium nitride as the atmosphere also contains a lot of nitrogen. However, titanium dioxide is a lot more stable than titanium nitride, so titanium oxide will form as the final product. And if we look at some of the material that we've oxidized, it's very easy to crush up. We can see it is a white powder, and this indeed is titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide has a wide range of applications, including pigments for paints, sun cream, cosmetics, abrasives, and even used for white LEDs. And now we will look at titanium nitride. Titanium nitride is gold in color. It has a very high hardness. It has a range of applications, some of them including a hardness coating for drills and abrasives. But in this demonstration, we're going to show how we can use titanium nitride to cut glass. So what we're going to do, we're going to apply a small amount of super glue to the back of a hacksaw blade. This is the blunt side. And then using this, we're going to dab some titanium nitride across the superglue. This may not be the best way to hold titanium nitride onto a surface. However, we've managed to coat one side of the hacksaw blade with titanium nitride powder. Now to demonstrate the hardness of titanium nitride, we're going to use a piece of glass, a glass slide in this case. And using our titanium nitride on our hacksaw blade, we are gently going to scrape a few times along the glass slide. Not pressing too hard, as we've only used super glue to hold our titanium nitride in. With the glass scored, we now have a stress point. So now it is very easy to fracture the glass along that surface. So we can see that demonstration one more time. It's using our hacksaw blade with our titanium nitride. We scribe along our glass. This is scratching the glass, putting in a stress riser so that when we apply a little bit of stress to the glass, it will fracture along that line.
And now we're going to look at titanium hydride. Titanium can actually absorb up to 3 weight percent hydrogen gas. So this means it can absorb three times its mass in hydrogen. However, this absorption of hydrogen embrittles the titanium. As we can see here, as we tap a rod of titanium, which has been exposed to hydrogen gas at elevated temperature, and we can see that titanium literally fractures. This is an extreme form of hydrogen embrittlement. So in our final demonstration, we're going to show how titanium has been added to an old ingredient to add a sparkle. So what we have here is gunpowder. Gunpowder was invented in ancient China. So if we like gunpowder, we can see it burns readily. A lot of smoke generated. Now if we do the same experiment again, but this time with gunpowder with a small amount of titanium powder added, hopefully we can see some of the sparks that are generated. Remember the first video that we saw was titanium reacting in a grinding stone. So when we light this formula, we can see we have some sparks being generated. So titanium is used in modern day pyrotechnics to add a sparkle. So to try to compare those reactions, the powder on the left is traditional gunpowder and the powder on the right is gunpowder with titanium added. And hopefully what you can see is sparkles on the right. And you can see there is a large amount of residue with the experiment on the right. This experiment had the addition of titanium powder the addition of titanium powder has affected the balance of the ingredients within gunpowder. I'm sure we'll be looking at gunpowder in a later video. So hopefully this video has given an insight into some of the characteristics of titanium. Thanks for watching.